Hello and welcome to a new video from Build with Rafiq. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect this Syrian SCD30 sensor to the cloud in under 10 minutes. Before I start with the tutorial, let me show you what the project will look like. The Sincerian SCD30 sensor will be hooked up to an Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. The Arduino board is connected through Wi-Fi to the Blink IoT platform. All the environmental data that is collected by the SCD30 sensor can be monitored through the Blink smartphone application. Let's start with unboxing all the components I will use in this video. The Sincerian SCD30 uses non-dispersive infrared CO2 technology to sense carbon dioxide. It also has an integrated temperature and humidity sensor. Ambient humidity and temperature can be measured through modeling and compensating of external heat sources without the need for any additional components. A very small factor, only 35 by 23 millimeters allows easy integration into different applications. To host the SCD30 sensor module, I will be using an Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. This board combines Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity with low power consumption. The Nano 33 also features a 6-axis inertial measurement unit and a crypto chip which can securely store certificates and pre-shared keys. I will also need a breadboard and some jumper cables. Let's start by hooking up the hardware parts together. Firstly, I will attach the Arduino board and the sensor to the breadboard. Next, I will connect the sensor to the Arduino board using the jumper cables. Now it's ready to plug in the micro USB cable to the board and the other end into the PC. On the PC, I'll open the Arduino IDE. The Arduino IDE will automatically detect that you have connected an Arduino Nano 33 IoT board and will ask you to install its package. Click on install this package. This will take a couple of minutes. After it's complete, let's select the board and the port it's connected to. Click on tools board, Arduino SAMT boards, select the Arduino Nano 33 IoT. Let's select the port, but first, let's check on which port the board is connected to. Hit the Windows key and type in Device Manager and hit Enter. Now if you go under Ports, you should be able to see which port the Arduino board is connected. Now back to the Arduino IDE, click on Tools, Port and select the appropriate port number. Let's install some libraries we will need to start measuring data with the SCT30. Search for the SparkFun SCD30 Arduino library and install it. Next, I will install the Arduino Wi-Fi Nina library. And lastly, I will install the Blink library. Now we're ready to run the first example which will be the basic readings from the sensor. The examples are under File, Examples, Examples from Custom Libraries, SparkFun SCD30 Arduino Library. Before I run it, let's open the serial monitor and change the baud rate to 115200. Now I will run the example. On the serial monitor output, you can start seeing data coming through, CO2 level, temperature, and humidity. Let's connect it to the Blink application. The Blink app is available for iOS and Android. In this project, I will use the iOS version. Navigate to the App Store and search for the Blink app and install it.
open the app and create an account. Click on new project, then enter a name for your project. Then choose the Arduino Nano board. The connection type will be Wi-Fi. Finally, click on Create Project. The application will send the authentication token of this project to your registered email. We will use this token to connect the board with the Blink app. You can also find the authentication token under the project settings. If you click anywhere on the home screen or swipe to the left, the widget box will appear. This is the list of widgets you can add to your app. At the top, you can see energy bar with 2000 points, and each widget costs energy points. I'll start by adding the temperature widget. Under input, I will select virtual bin V1. I will explain later how we will pass the data to the Blink app. Here I will add the degree symbol to show besides the received values. I will do the same thing for the humidity, except I will select virtual pin V2. For the CO2 readings, I will add the super chart and will choose virtual pin V3. The super chart will show a graph with all the received data on the V3 pin. Everything is set now in the Blink app. I'll go back to the Arduino IDE and show you how the code looks like, and the main parts of it. The main code is basically the combination of the SparkFun SCD30 basic reading script and the Blink Wi-Fi script. A couple of important points to note. The Blink app should have sent you an email with the authentication token. I copied it from my email and will paste it in here. Add the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi network. The main function is this one here. I use the virtual write function that is from the Blink library. This function will pass the values to the widgets we created. For each sensor, I assigned it to a virtual pin. Now we're ready to flash the code to the board and open the Blink app on the smartphone and see all the data on a friendly user interface. The Blink app also has some additional features. You can, for example, recycle a widget for energy points. Let me show you how on the Humidity widget. Another feature is on the CO2 super chart widget. You can view real-time data or show older data for up to one year, which is really cool. I hope this tutorial showed you how easy and quickly it is to connect the Sincerian SCD30 sensor module to the Blink IoT platform. For more information, visit mauser.com.